Okay, a bunch of people are asking how to package a file. I thought I directed you to a website with information on this, but I may not have. So let me just, it's pretty easy. You just go up to File and Illustrator. This is pretty much the same when we're working in Illustrator. A lot of things. Actually, I was fumbling around in um, Premiere trying to figure out how to do this. But in Illustrator and InDesign, it's right under File. You go to File, Package, and it will ask you where you want to put it. You're going to make a folder that has all of this stuff in it. So you can choose the location. I'm going to put this in my fall, uh, Spring 21, in my CD 010, in my Geometric Logo Project. So that's the folder that I'm going to put it in. My little subfolder is going to be called and geometric logo folder. And then I want to check all of these things so that it includes the links, the relinked files, the fonts, and a report. And then I click package. Boom! Oh, it tells me a warning. Font software, blah, 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 whatever. That's fine. It's just telling me that I don't want to break any laws by using some kind of commercial font. And then if you want to just double check, you can show the package. You can just say OK, or you can, if you've forgotten already where you, fo where you stored it or something, you can see my the name of the folder is and geometric logo folder. If I look at where it's living, how can I do this columns? Um, here it is, geometric logo. There's a new little folder. And then to upload it to D2L, D2L doesn't like folders very much. And this is good practice if you're emailing anything, if you're storing something on the web, if you're sending a file to another person by way of like WeTransfer or some other file transfer service. For some reason, a compressed file is a little bit more stable and travels through the ether of the world, it, you know, over the lines and whatnot to the other person. Anyway, it works better if it's zipped, compressed. So right here in my finder window i can go up to finder compress there used to be a thing compressing things used to be oh oh my god so labor intensive but now you just go compress boom and it takes that whole folder smushes it into a zip file hopefully you've been um using zip files your whole life practically your digital natives so you when you were two you just Click double clicked on something and unzipped a zip file. You probably learned how to unzip a file before you learned how to unzip your, you know, raincoat. So, anywho, that's it. That's all there is to it. Thanks. Bye.